Is it time to scramble? It's time to scramble. Unfortunately, Nicole is in here. So we're oh, I'm here. Play. Oh, gosh. Goodness I'm here gracious. with bells on. You better Whoa. believe it. You better get in here. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from making some coffee. Ma ma there you go. Oh, should I go over there? That oh, smells oh. so good. Wake what is that, up. French vanilla? What is yeah, that? it is. So smelly, so, so good. Good, good sniffer. All right, we're going to play a hometown scramble that has a message of importance. Ooh. Okay, what Diane kind Taylor. of importance? Well, it's got to do with cold. Oh. All right. All right, so Nicole will explain the rules. I'll get ready. Wendell and I will watch. Okay. All right, here's how we play Hometown Scramble. We are scrambling up three town or city names in our state, and your job at home is to unscramble them by tweeting your answers right here to at WFSB Morning Team. Uh, now, if you correctly unscramble these and tweet them correctly and let us know if you've won before, please, then you get to win a T-shirt. I need right. this to be easy. You need it to be easy. Just like when you're introduced to one easy of our newest like a reporters. Sunday morning. Right. Luke High Dash, his were so easy. I yeah, got three well, of his. They were easy. We had to give him a little break. But okay. he actually won Hometown Scramble. Before. Before. I know. Incred I mean, his dad won too. So pretty incredible. Got All it. right. Just some scattered snow showers out there this morning. Not a big deal. We're not expecting any storms during the day today. Here's the scramble from Diane. Frigid temps ahead. Uh, All right. I got one in three. She's brilliant. Wow. Wow. One okay. in three. Okay, now this is a Oh, I got the last one. Yeah, oh. Okay, that's that's pretty simple. Is yep. it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, and the second one is two words? Two words. Two words. So, frigid temps ahead. Thank you, Diane Taylor from West Haven. Clever. Once again, for sending in this puzzle. All right, Any this is an easy one, Wendell. Come on. Yeah, come on. You got this. Number two, number one, it screams at you. <laughs> it's just screaming at you. Nicole, what is it screaming? Ridgefield. It is screaming Ridgefield. Oh. I could get the feeling what I was trying to like, Gridge? What's going on? <laughs> you gross. <laughs> All right, number two? Uh, it is East Hampton. Oh. oh, nice. Very good, East Hampton. And number three? Is it? Bark Hampstead? You it got is Bark it. Hampstead. Good job. Very good. Excellent. So All the right. temperatures out there this morning are in the mid to upper 20s. And do we have any winners into the Twitters? Uh -huh. I'm trying to go through everything. I believe. Well, get back to me in a All second. All right, I'll get back to you. Hey, let's focus our attention. This is something in this morning, and it means business. A wind chill watch is in effect for Friday into Saturday. It's very rare that we see something like that, and that's because we're talking about the dangerous combination of Arctic cold and a gusty wind. Records could be broken. The worst time frame will be Friday night into Saturday morning with winds 15 to 30 degrees. It's going to make those uh, temperatures feel like they're between 15 and 30 degrees below zero. Even to, uh, it's just ridiculous. The air is coming in from the North Pole, but it quickly retreats by Sunday. We're back in the 40s. So we just got to get through this together. And speaking of let's get through this together. Here's 4 p.m. Friday. 8, 3, 2, 9, 13 below zero. This is Saturday morning just after midnight. So if you're going to be out and about, you're doing a little partying Saturday night, uh, Friday night into Saturday morning. 31 degrees below zero in Torrington? Ooh. That is the real feel with the wind and the temperature. So you gotta really brace yourselves. Dangerously cold, no people, no pets outside if you can avoid it. This is 11 o'clock Saturday morning. It gets a little bit better. And then 10 o'clock, it's getting even better. By Sunday, we're doing much, much better. But records, minus eight, I think is okay. Five is probably going to fall. And the record coldest highs, I think we're going to be doing okay, too, because the temperatures are going to be rising Saturday during the day. So we'll just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, uh, we've got a couple of flurries out there for you in parts of southeast Connecticut. No storms in sight. It's going to be a beautiful day of weather. A little chilly. Temperatures in the mid-30s. Increasing amounts of sunshine. And then your seven-day forecast includes the alert for Friday into Saturday for that wicked cold weather. Saturday and Sunday uh, look good in terms of uh, sky conditions. It's just going to be wicked cold again Friday into Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we start moderating those temperatures in the low to mid to upper 40s. All right, roll it. Ransom Schulz is one today. George Anthony Wilson, 57. Jim Titus is 70. And Sean Young is 17 today. Thank you so much for the easy birthday names. <laughs> I very much appreciate that. And Jennifer Franklin is our winner this Jennifer week. Franklin. Hi, Jennifer Franklin. Yeah. Send me an email, shaney at wfsb.com. A picture. 
your shirt size larger, extra large, and your home address so we can mail out the t-shirt. And there today was an easy birthday and an easy home scramble day. day be hometown scramble. I can't talk. My words are scrambled. Well, we got a lot of people. A lot of people and a lot of alum actually coming oh, wow. in. Oh, okay. Nice. A lot That's of people so fun. saying hello. 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 Good morning. Thanks for playing. So fun. And so thanks, fun. Diane. She's so brilliant. So, isn't she? It's unbelievable. Let's wait till you see next week. It's the town within a town. Oh, okay. Oh, so tricky. Oh, that's going to really... It's really tricky. Really tricky. 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 tricky.